forced the Ravens to play from behind. So teams to win a playoff game over an opponent with five or more regular season wins. This is what usually are considered mismatches, but here, if you're just watching this game and you know nothing about the regular season, Tennessee executed at a high level, and the Baltimore Ravens did not look like them themselves. Mike Vrabel told us that we have to handle the initial wave from Baltimore, and they did, and they came up with a turnover, and that set the tone for this game. And their defensive plan to force the option to the sideline, take away the inside passes to the tight ends, and give Dean Pease and his defensive staff a lot of credit. I am shocked. I am so shocked this is happening. But kind of about what a running back. What a playoff run he's had and the Titans have had. Ryan Tannehill and Lamar Jackson has not had a good game. A lot of turnovers. No consistency. A lot of running yards, but not enough to come back in this game as the Titans just turned the ball, had three, you know, took over the ball three times on Ravens turnovers and scored all three times. Leading to the situation. I know the, tight, the, 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 the Ravens are driving here, but only a minute 30 left right now. I don't see the Ravens coming back away. And he got sacked. Gonna kill a lot more time. For the Tennessee Titans, they didn't have any sacks against New England. In fact, not a whole lot of pressure against the Patriots last week. Yeah, they beat the Patriots, and now they're beating the Ravens. One minute left. And the memories of a year ago in the postseason for Lamar Jackson, this one is going to stick with him for a while. I can't believe this is happening, though, so. Seven times, completing 31. Complete shock. Pair of on so many different levels. First one, not his fault, off the hands of Mark Andrews, but it did set the tone for this uh, tight defense. And really, there's no I'm just shocked watching this. Week 17. Most coaches would do the Congratulations, same. Titans, though. I'll say it right now. No reason to you know the game isn't over just yet. Fourth down. Once they, they get another incompletion, the game is over, and the Titans are headed to the AFC Championship game. Wow, this is what you call an upset, like you saw before, a real shock. I think that just barely got into the playoffs. Now, going to the AFC Championship game. Incredible. Truly. Absolutely. The of the Texans and the Chiefs. Phenomenal. Well, we'll they have to. Jackson on 4th and 11. Turnover and downs. Uh, do Titans win. Is going to be able to down? Twice and Titans win. Wow, I'm just... Like I said, I, 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 I actually feel kind of bad because you know, how good they were supposed to be this year. The Titans. I mean the Ravens, sorry. The Ravens are going to have to win this game in order to get to the The Titans are the real team to watch this playoff for him. A former football player, he's got some stuff on his face. Well, he has created a winning culture in a very short time in that Let's see who they face next on the road. The Titans, either the Texans or the Chiefs. Probably the Chiefs, but you don't know for a fact. Malarkey, Vrabel, the last two. And they pulled off a stunner tonight. One more kneel down, this game's over. Grable taking the time to shake everybody's hand on that Tennessee Congratulations, side. Titans. Well deserved. Honestly. Nothing else I could say, but tremendous game, tremendous 
season, tremendous playoff run. Congratulations, Titans. Texans, Kansas City Chiefs game tomorrow. We'll have it for you here on CBS.